Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. If you've ever watched a CS Guitars video and thought to yourself, what's that guitar he's using? Then this video is for you. We're going to look at all the guitars that I currently have in the studio. Now, this is by no means all the guitars that I own, but it's the most interesting among them. I'll have links to all of the guitars, well, as far as applicable in the description, if after watching this video you want to find out more about them. But for now, welcome to my guitar collection. This is the Fender Player Stratocaster Plus top with a wonderful red burst finish over a flame maple veneer. This is the best of what the Mexican factory is producing and the quality is simply incredible. I've done a few minor upgrades since I got this and there's a video which documents that process uh, rolling in up there if you want to go and see it. But to summarise, I wound a set of low output single coils to go into this guitar to give it a bit more of a vintage sound. It's a one-piece maple neck with an alder body, two-point trim, really what's not to love here. It looks great, plays well, and it's become a real favourite for the sound samples. <laughs> Moving up, we have the Friedman Vintage T. This is a white Relic Tele style guitar and one of the best guitars I've ever played. All the Friedman guitars are fantastic and this is no exception. It's got the four knobs, the big black guard, the two P90s. It's about as deluxe as it gets. This is a no frills instrument, a complete workhorse but made to the absolute highest standards. Those P90s are powerful but also have a lot of character. You'll probably hear a little bit of 50 cycle hum in the demos which have been picked up from my studio lights. I really need to upgrade to LEDs to prevent that from happening. <laughs> Another pricey one here, this is the PRS McCarty 594 single cut. Sort of PRS's answer to the question, what have we made the original Les Paul though, and it's damn good. I love the look and features of all the proprietary hardware, like the large brass saddles on the bridge, the brass posts on the pretty unique locking tuners, and just the profile of everything here is very well designed. It's got the birds, it's got the burst, it's got the buckers. Two of them, these are supposed to be more low output, vintage style humbuckers, but man are they aggressive. They've got a lot of bite and ferocity there, which make them really good actually for some classic heavy metal.
Speaking of classic heavy metal, take a look at this beast. Yes, that's right, it's a highly modified Gibson Gothic Flying V. I'm not going to talk much about it. I've got a whole video series that documents all of the modifications. You can go and watch that if you want to learn about the string through conversion, the string butler truss plate, and all the Indra guitars aged brass hardware. <laughs> It's not all super expensive guitars here though, we also have the Harley Benton Progressive line which is trying very hard to pretend that it's an ESP Eclipse. It's a very very well made instrument for a super low price and a fantastic upgrade platform as well. You'll notice that I've been adding some higher quality hardware to this since its video debut which again you can go and watch up here. It's active pickups that are in this one at the moment, I'm hoping to upgrade these to something better soon, but for now, enjoy the carnage. something mean, sharp and aggressive which can also be used as a weapon against your enemies and look no further than the Ibanez Xiphus, named after the double-edged sword used by the ancient Greeks. You'll be unsurprised to learn that I made a video about this one a while back too. It's almost like making guitar videos is what I do for a living or something. You can go and check that one out up here as well. Damasio deactivator pickups, through neck construction and a chameleon flip flop paint job. This is like the coolest guitar a teenage metalhead has ever seen. <laughs>
2006, I'm at university studying physics and I'm like, I wanna learn to play guitar. This is the bad boy that I started with. This is a Squire Bullet Special. Originally, it was a single humbucker guitar, but as you can see, I've done a bit of work to it over the years. It's got an HSH pickup configuration now with a Duncan Invader in the bridge and bare knuckle slow hand and painkiller in the middle and neck. I've upgraded the bridge, the tuners, the electronics, basically the only things still original about this guitar are the body and neck. And when it comes to straight up brutality, this will kick the arse of anything else in the collection. This has been used at shows, on record, on tour, it's been thrown to the floor, abused and used and keeps coming back for more. It's unstoppable and it'll tear your f***ing face off. <laughs> Of course, the guitar collection simply wouldn't be complete without the inclusion of two of the guitars that I built myself, the Ash Fossil and the Bloodbound. For long-time viewers of the channel, these are fan favourites, handcrafted from blocks of wood into machines of sonic destruction by yours truly, featuring custom wound pickups and ammonite inlays. Yes, that's correct, these guitars feature genuine, real, 150 million year old Jurassic fossils inlaid into the fretboards because if you can be that rad, why wouldn't you be that rad? The Ash Ash Fossil is a blonde bombshell of ash and bird's eye maple. It's got two humbucker pickup configuration, the shallower hands bridge and some locking hip shot tuners. The Bloodbound Explorer style beast has an extra wide fretboard, blood red burl top, wenge binding, living edge zircate board, a single humbucker and strings tuned so low only elephants can hear it. And before any of you ask, I don't make guitars any longer, I don't have the workshop space or the tools to do it. I do miss it though, and these guitars have themselves become fossils of a forgotten age of CS guitars. <laughs>
There you have it, those are the guitars that you've been seeing in CS Guitars content. There are links to any applicable instruments in the description and there are other videos which detail some of these guitars a little further. Don't forget to click all the buttons you're supposed to to make this video viable to the ever-changing whims of the YouTube algorithm. But for now, keep it loud and stay safe. Meh.